Hi there guys and welcome to another Red Gaming Tech video with myself Amata and I have another rather large patch video today this time concerning Far Cry 3 the patch is 1.04 and it brings a ton of updates for the PC version of Far Cry 3 this is both for the single player and multiplayer and a much requested new option that lets you hide the heads up display or at least elements of it but there is an absolute ton of fixes here so let's jump straight in to the full list I'm going to begin with the multiplayer changes so just so it's clear what has been changed what hasn't and what those changes will mean so to start off they have improved this ability on multiplayer maps fixed the crash when player was planting explosive Several generalized crashes were fixed. Fixed bug where users were unable to jump on certain surfaces. Fixed bug where players could become invisible. Fixed bug with 3D weapon images in the decoding menu. Fixed bug where weapons could disappear after completing objectives in co-op. Fixed the bug where users could get stuck in the loadout screen in co-op. And removed reloading shout after user shoots the bow, which is quite sensible considering the bow is supposed to be a stealth weapon. Parties will no longer be allowed to numerically unbalance games. Improved and fixed several issues with host migration. Connection degradation will now properly trigger a host migration. Fixed several bugs with the loadout menu. Fixed a bug that could display a profile restriction message when trying to join a lobby. Fixed a bug where users could get stuck in third person in custom games. Fixed a bug with flamethrower not doing any damage in certain circumstances. I bet that was frustrating to experience. Fixed bug where a player is on the way tag could stick to down players. Fixed bug where clients could remain on black screen if hosts left the game. Fixed bug where fire arrows did not do fire damage, which is a little bit unusual. Fixed bug where long distance kill was not awarded. Fixed bug where tag assist was not awarded. Fixed bug where kill cam wasn't shown in certain circumstances. The bug for survival instinct where it was not being cancelled properly has now been fixed. Fixed bug where sight gas could get dropped in the wrong place and they've also fixed another bug with sight gas that could affect players outside the deployment area. Fixed bug where users get stuck when killed by poison gas. Fixed bug where other players footstep sound sometimes did not play behind you. And they fixed the bug where the sound can get muffled when being revived. And finally, for your general multiplayer fixes, we've got a fix that where the user could be desynced if killed in mid-air. For the map editor, there's a few changes as well. Added information for the player map playlists. Improved available space for player map names in the lobby. Fixed a bug where user made maps wasn't downloaded properly in the lobby. And fixed a bug that made the user stuck when igniting firestorm modes on certain maps. So that is it for the multiplayer fixes, but we actually have a fair few single player fixes as well, so keep on listening if you want to know more. So to start off with, they fixed the accessing bug for the camera and the throwing rocks. Users that missed the relic located in Dr. Earnhardt Cave will have the relic recover. Fixed the bug with the weapon model staying on screen slash stuck on the character's arm. The leaderboard is now updating correctly even after the user is disconnecting slash reconnecting the ethernet cable. The objective is now properly updated after Jason burns the weed fields. New options to hide the heads up display are now available in the option menu as I mentioned earlier. So you can hide certain elements of the heads up display if you so wish. They added support for DLC. Fix the issue when the user is becoming invincible after failing the mission Black Gold several times. I bet that was rather interesting to see and experience. The phone call from Herc ULC missions is no longer overlapping the brief of the piece of the past mission. Fix the issue when Sam is no longer in the Jeep's turret after placing two bombs and being killed several times in the Black Gold mission. Sam is no longer getting stuck when the user destroys an enemy car. So it sounds like the Black Gold mission was the source of a little bit of frustration and bugs as well for several people, but luckily those bugs have now been fixed and <clears throat> Hopefully now you guys will have a better time of it on PC. The heads up display option is definitely a very nice one and it sounds like they've fixed quite a few game breaking bugs but I'm sure this will not be the last patch update we see for this game. There's been an absolute ton for other Ubisoft games and I would expect nothing less of this one as well. Anyway guys that's me done for this particular video, hope you found it informative and helpful and I'll see you again soon.